Pterodactyl here, and today I'm going to show you how to set the valve timing on one of these Honda GX or GXV 620, 610, 6 whatever that they got. There's a 610, a 620, a 670, but if you look in the manuals, it shows the exact same way to put the cam in. Now, I've seen some discussion online, and I ran into this problem too, where there's no mark on the gear on the crankshaft. Because see, if you look here, they're telling you, find the mark on the crankshaft and line it up with the mark on the gear. So if you don't have the mark on that timing gear on the crankshaft, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now look at the picture. See the keyway on the crankshaft is down. The timing mark is 180 degrees from that keyway. So this is what you do. Got to get yourself a marker, a sharpie, or a paint pen, and follow the keyway down so you find the tooth there and then just go like this with your fingers. Go every tooth till you come up around. to there and then make a mark and then there's the mark on the gear on the camshaft it's as simple as that that's how you that's how you figure it out put your shim on put your sump cover on and then we'll crank it over to verify that it's in the right position so now you want to crank the motor over so you can verify that the valve timing is right. So the intake valve open and close, exhaust open and close, intake open and close. Now we're going to come around to top dead center. On this fan shroud there's a T which I highlighted and there's a T on here. And the T stands for top dead center. The F on here is for fire. Where that T ends up is basically in the very center of the coil. Or you can put the cover on and verify it. So we're at top dead center. Both valves are closed. And then you can set your clearance. Which they recommend six thousandths on the intake and eight thousandths on the exhaust. And then you just do the same to the other side. Turn it over, watch your valves open and close. Our intake opens. There's our compression release bumped. Exhaust open and close. Intake open and close. Now we watch on our flywheel. We spin it around till the T is in the center. And then we don't have any tension on the valves. Now we can go ahead and set our valves at six and eight. So that's all there is in case you ain't got a timing mark on your crankshaft on this here Honda engine. So subscribe to this YouTube channel, Terrell Fixes All. That's me, Terrell. Go to our web store, follow the link, click on the link. Buy our tarot apparel and stuff. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And like I always say, there's your dinner. Woo! That's how you do it when there's no mark. Skid mark. <laughs>